Hello, Michelle Geomatics here today to tell you about our newest GPS training video course, which is called GPS Mapping with Esri's Collector app. If you've been wanting to learn how to use Collector in your organization, I have great news for you. I've been working with it for a number of weeks, bumping my head against the wall, making all the mistakes there are to make so that I can put together a smooth training workflow for you. I think you'll enjoy the class. It has five lessons, it's just over two hours long, and it really does walk you through step by step how to set up your geodatabase, get your data ready in ArcMap, publish a hosted feature service, use ArcGIS Online to build a web map, configure it for use in Collector, and then use Collector to do all your field edits synchronize the edits back to ArcGIS Online and eventually integrate them with ArcMap. I even show you how to work with digital photos as attachments and an alternative workflow if you don't want to use attachments. Here's a short demonstration from the course which shows the synchronization process between the web map and ArcGIS Online and Collector. I hope you enjoy it. Here you can see my data in ArcMap that I've already downloaded and integrated with my file geodatabase using the collector workflow. So you can see that I have my fruit trees and the plantable areas, a few walkways, a utility feature. And now let's take a look in ArcGIS Online where I have the same data open in the web map and you see it looks exactly the same. So now what I'd like to show you is going out into the field with Collector. So I have a field worker who is going to go and collect some power poles today and I'm going to be in the office. So you can see the field workers activity in the small screen when he gets in the position of one of the power pole utility features. He'll add a new feature and populating the attributes and here he's going to copy that feature and create another power pole in his current location. So I'll come into the web map in ArcGIS Online. I'll refresh the map to synchronize the field edits and I can see the two power pole features that he created in the field. I'm going to create a polygon to show the field worker where I want him to focus his efforts today. I'll close the feature and save the web map to save the changes. And now I'm going to create a bookmark. So I'll zoom into the study area and create a new bookmark. I'll save the map again. And now the web map is updated and available in Collector. So let's come back into the Collector app and on the map card reload the map. And now Grant can see his study area in the map. And I've told him basically from the field where I want him to focus his efforts to create the power pull features. So Grant can zoom into the bookmark and using the GPS he can find his way into that study area polygon and collect any power pole features that he finds there. And since all of these power poles basically have the same attributes, he doesn't have to create a brand new feature each time. He can just copy one of the existing power poles that he created and paste it or create a new feature just like it in his current GPS location. So he's in position for the new pole and he selected one of the existing poles and is choosing to copy it the attributes look acceptable and he's going to take advantage of attachments to take a photograph of the power pole. I'll save that and submit the edits and submitting the edits synchronizes the data so at this point the data are available to view in ArcGIS Online. Okay Grant is going to collect one more power pole feature so he's copying the previous one and creating a new feature just like it in his current GPS location. And you can see the photo that he's using to attach and is submitting the edits. 
Grant is going to test to make sure his attachment came through, so he'll tap on one of the new power pole features, and you can see the attachment. So back in the office, I would like to keep up with the work that Grant's done. So I'll click on Refresh, and I can see the two power pole features that were collected in the field. You can see the attachments are in place. I'll look at the attachment for the second feature. Looks good. So I no longer need the study area polygon that I created for Grant. Select the feature, click to edit it, and delete the feature. I'll save my web map, and then back in Collector if I want to see these changes, I'll just go to Maps and reload the map, and the feature is gone. Alright, so that shows you how you can synchronize field edits with the web map. Now we still need to get the data down into ArcMap. And in the GPS mapping with the Esri Collector app training video course, I go into detail about how to get the field edits down into ArcMap. If you'd like more information about the course, please visit the URL that you see on the screen. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us on the contact page of geomatics.com. This is Michelle Geomatics saying goodbye for now.